this is G Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Last time, we got invisible explosives shoved up our ass, but since we can't see them, we can't disarm them or advance the plot any further in alternate history. So let's head on back to standard history now that we've learned sword dancing from Kiel there. But before putting that skill to use, well, I suppose we're going to put it to use here too, but yeah, now that we've learned sword dancing, we can cut down those vines for some reason. I don't know why that helps specifically here, but it does, and we can get some treasure. There are other vines like that, particularly back at Laszlo Hills, that are blocking some treasures there. I'm not going to go back there right now to do that, even though I guess it would be kind of convenient to do so. But I want to wait until a little later because we're going to get some side quests and other abilities that we can put to use there at the same time. So it'll just be faster to wait until a little later before going back there to put that to use. If you recall from when we were in standard history before, we got caught at the border here. And, well, just using brute force didn't work getting past the border last time. And, well, even though we're not actually abandoning the idea, you need to select abandon the idea to advance the plot here. But, yeah, you're not going to abandon the idea because we know how to do sword dancing. I am trained, sir, as a sword dancer. If I might ask you to stand over here. I like how Stock is kind of excited at what? the prospect of that, just... Maybe that's part of him making fun of Vanos' accent there. Pardon me. It's dangerous to move during the act, sir. <laughs> what? That's it? That's easy! Yeah, I didn't even rip your clothes to shreds! Oh. And embarrass you in front of your partner. <laughs> Most impressive. Thank you, sirs. How are those earrings hanging onto your ears? Like, those things are huge! I mean, I would think that would, like, be deforming you or something. Maybe it has to do with being a satirist or something. Probably. <laughs> Did you see the look on that soldier's face? I nearly burst out laughing! Ha <laughs> ha. You're full of surprises, Stock. What other talents do you have up your sleeve? Don't answer that, viewers. Truly, it was a remarkable display of swordsmanship. Should you ever find yourself in need of employment, please consider joining our troop. Well, I don't think Stock will ever have trouble finding employment. Heck, he's already got two jobs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how excited Ot gets. Then again. I can't imagine one so skilled having any difficulty finding work. <laughs> you know me too well, game. Now then, we should be going. We plan to head west, toward an open area we always use for camping. Well, good luck! Goodbye! Would you consider staying the night with us? Or that. We have superb tents. You'll sleep in perfect comfort. But we don't need you anymore. We just needed you to get past the border. Why not, Stock? The job doesn't begin until tomorrow anyway. Sounds good. I'm sorry if it puts you out, but we'll stay. Well, it's a free healing point. You might as well take it. Oh, hey, it's that lady from before. Ah, we meet again. Although, I don't remember your name. How did you even get here? Like, past the border and all that. Wait a tick. I never asked. Do you work for Grand Org? Well then, why don't you introduce yourself? My name's Stock. I need to ask you something. Why do you keep stalking me? You came from Grand Org just now, didn't you? That's correct. But what of it? I don't understand. How did you get there before we did? Well, news fam travels faster than we do. Why not her? An astute observation, Stock. You get extra credit for that. What kind of extra credit? Don't answer that, viewers. To answer your question, it's a lost art of the Fallen Empire. Oh. Aren't you able to do the same? Not direct teleportation like that. I'm not. 
<laughs> I like how Stock kind of sounds annoyed by the question. <laughs> huh. There goes my hypothesis. Are their properties different? What do you mean? But it has to be him. Mm -hmm. Won't you accept this? What is it? It's a bomb! Now, now, just kidding. Please. What is it? <laughs> That's a secret for now. But I predict it'll come in handy. Well, I suppose it couldn't be any more useless than the blank book Ice gave me. You'll know when the prison reacts. As for now, I really must be off. I'll see you next time, Stock. Well, okay. Thanks. Oh, and don't even think about throwing it away. I'll give you a century of detention if you do. Please don't lock me in a pocket dimension by myself. How is this going to help? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. What's up, Stock? You know her? No, not really. Now, she's just been stalking me the whole game. Anyway, we should be going. <laughs> but alright, so, got past the border there. I'm not going to be fighting very many of the enemies here. Although, there is something I could show off here, since I have the opportunity. Okay, get that guy over there. And if I move the barrel right over here next to the monster... Aha! You can blow up the monster with it! Not that that's extraordinarily useful, but it's there. You can do that. But alright, we got a bishop stud that, is, that increases your defense and magic defense. There's various types of earrings studs that boost your defense like that. I don't use them too much in the remake because the enemies usually deal so much damage that it's kind of pointless anyway. But at this point, I do not have a whole lot of accessories, so I'm pretty much just taking what I can get at this point. And let's see. I think I'm going... I think there's an enemy around here. Okay, no, there isn't. Okay, I thought there was a, a new one over here. But yeah, we've already fought these goblins before. Now, I'm not going to be using Ot right now, as I did in the original LP, because... Let's see. Well, first I want to get treasure over here. But yeah, Ot is a pretty big liability, because she doesn't have a whole lot of HP or defense with her. I will be bringing her up to speed later eventually, but that is one of the changes in my approach to the game compared to the original, is that I prefer to use people who are more suited to specific situations rather than using the characters who need the most experience. So in this case, I'm just sticking with the main three. Like that you'll fall and crack your head open dude that's rather morbid i'll be okay <laughs> she's a spunky kid easily excited huh please and i shall prepare the tents would you mind hunting up something for our dinner you didn't say anything about that we'll need firewood as well if you please Please don't ask me to watch the fire. Let's go on a scavenger hunt. What do we need a scavenger hunt for? Sure. How much do you need? Oh, about five good branches should do. Well, aren't they all over the place here? Got it. We'll be back soon. Got bushes and trees and vines and everything. But all right, gotta get wood. Better than bad, it's good. I'm sure five dry branches will be enough. Well, we're counting on you. We'll set up the tent in the meantime. Well, why not three? Five, three set. What a spunky little girl. I'm sorry. I know Ot can be a handful, but please look after her. Oh, all right. Now, if you were going to use Ot, one thing that would make her pretty useful is her Polaris spell that boosts your status resistance to everything, like against goblin foots that could poison you. This place is 
place is bigger than I thought it'd be. Where do we start looking? Well, it is a grand plain. I'll show you. Stop, watch this. What do we do? Ooh, glowy. Oh, what does that do? Oh, hidden treasure. So yeah, it's kind of like uh, Hex's Force in a way with finding hidden items, except you don't need to press a button over and over and over again. It just happens automatically as you pass by an invisible object. Well, I see sparkly. Yeah. I see a white light. I knew it! Bright light! Bright light! You know, I've heard of this. The beast kind are said to have strange powers that humans don't. Whoa, really? Hey, you'd think that would give them an enormous military advantage over us. Yep. Now Stock can see tiny little changes in Mana. Hey! <laughs> Could I learn it too? Hmm. I don't think so. You're not a main character. What? Why not? Or cool. My grandpa said you need a special gift to do this. Nah, I'm just kidding, Marco. Stock has the gift. I could tell. How do you know? I see. I'm disappointing. Oh. But your grandfather sounds like a very wise man. Okay, Stock. You gotta find more of these. So, for some reason, we need an ability to see invisible branches. All right. I just need to look around using this power, right? Even though we can clearly see them everywhere. But okay. But yeah, now that you have the monocyte ability, you could go back to the other timeline and find those invisible explosives. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to stick on this timeline for a while. And there's more side quests here right now, anyway. I think that's the last one around here. So it seems. Let's look elsewhere, then. So basically, what we need to do now is just kind of walk around and, well, look for more of those uh, branches around here. Yes. Ah, and there's some of those tigers. Uh-oh. Hmm. That is a really bad start to the fight, but... I'll see if I can make it work. Hmm. What can I do with this one? I would like to get magic boost going on someone. Let's see what these guys are weak to. Yeah, you just press the X button, and... Yeah, you can... Well, move enemies around. Or, well, check out their conditions if you've already killed them. Four. Okay, so let's go like this. Yeah, you see, these guys aren't nearly as tough as they were before because we were really under-equipped. But this time, we're not. So let's see. Do a pull and a right and then a frost. I think that'll be enough to kill at least the goblins. Hey, all right. Ow! Hmm. Try that one again. Okay, that's more like it. Ow! Man, these guys are kicking my ass. I don't remember these guys being remotely this difficult, but whatever. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, yeah, these guys, they're getting their turns awkwardly making it difficult for me to get my combos going. Yeah, we're gonna need a little more help. Ow! Man. Hmm. Okay, we got the one up there, but there's no way I'm gonna kill that guy. So, let's see if I do this. Yeah, we should be able to kill the guy with one more spell there. Attack someone else! Dude, what is your problem? <laughs> I mean, they're just going after her. <laughs> okay. Huh. 
Well, yeah, you got five enemies to start a battle that can make things rather tricky. Oh, yeah, Ott has that support attack ability there. Just like Raj and almost everyone else, I think. But all right, a little extra experience we could use there. So now we need to look for more of those withered branches. That's all the un random enemies that I'm going to be fighting today. I think that's the last one around here. So it seems. Let's look elsewhere then. By the way, once you get to this point in the plot, like past the border, you can't go back. At least not without time traveling. Here. So it seems. Let's look elsewhere then. Hey, Stock. Let's go to the South Hill. Well, where's that? Oh. Well, I mean, I know it's to the south. I have a secret place there. Is that so? What kind of secret place? Don't answer that, viewers. All right. Let's go. Keep on saying that. Why do I keep in asking questions to which I already know the answer? But all right, yeah, before getting all the way down to the South Hill, let's see, I will want to heal up, make sure there's no enemies in my way. Okay, we're good. Let's see, how are you doing on MP? Yeah, we're doing fine. But I definitely want Rainy in coming up here. And you know what? Let's make a backup there. Whoa! Protect you. How did you see me? You had your back turned toward me. How does that even work? And let's take a look around here. You can tell this is the South Hill by, well, the bottom screen there. Hmm. Kind of lonely there. Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. But that is not what we are looking for. This is, if I can look at it. Game? Hey, hey, all right. Well, let's get back to camp then. Mm, what a nice view. It's a wasteland out there. Whoa, it's pretty huge. Well, yeah, it's a desert. I could swear it was greener when I saw it last year. I hear that a lot. People say the plant life is receding year after year. Well, that is the general idea. Alistel's in the same position as Granorg now. Everyone needs fertile land. The prophet Noah says the desertification is caused by Queen Protea's tyranny. Yeah, probably. He says the land goes bad when it's ruled by an impure heart. Yes, I've heard that too. Though it was from his mouthpiece, General Hugo. The slow drying up of livable land has everyone scared. Well, I would believe it, knowing Pratea. Whoa. Wow, such a big piggy. Dude, that thing's gonna maul you to death. Wait, get back. That's a boar, it's dangerous. Oh, look, it just wants to claw my eyes out. For boss time! Can't get careless. Against Fumble. Okay, so, first things first. Fumble is weak to fire and poison, actually. So, what I want to do is get poison break. Actually, you know what? Let's do... Um... Hmm... Yeah, yeah, let's do it like this. Let's go... Right Assault, and then Poison Break. Fumble's got quite a bit of HP, so Poison will help us out quite a bit there. And I might be able to kill that Mushroom, too. Ow. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. I would really like to get that guy in the back row, but there's no way I can do that. So, let's just heal up and hope he doesn't kill someone. This is looking bad. 
Pokemon. I think it's looking pretty good for us, but okay. But all right, okay, so let's go push assault and fire. So I'll take out both of them. I think they're both weak to fire. So that's why I'm having stock do the heavy, li heavy lifting there. Although, why don't you heal yourself? And you still want to kill this guy fairly quickly. Let's see. Hmm. And eh, just go with an attack, whatever. Fire is going to be dealing the bulk of our damage for this fight anyway. Now, Fumble can eventually summon more of those mushrooms there, so you want to watch out for that, but I don't think it's a huge concern. Maybe I can deal more damage with Poison Break. You want to keep an eye on Stock there. Uh-oh. Ow! Yeah, that's another reason why you want to be careful at this part. Hmm. Well, hopefully he doesn't do that again. Hmm. You know what I could do? Yeah, just go two fires. That'll definitely kill him. I don't know if one would be enough. Might be a little short on that. Okay. Well, I was just playing it a little overly cautious, but it's fine. better safe than sorry. Easy enough. Hey, all right. That was a huge piggy. <laughs> you guys are strong. It almost killed us all. <laughs> it wasn't that fun. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> Rainy, why don't you take it from here? I'm not trained in babysitting. With what? Don't answer that, viewers. Yay! <laughs> I bet everyone's hungry back at the camp. Well, that is the general idea with hunting all the food. But, alright. Okay, so we're done here. Pretty easy boss fight, especially once you've been on the other timeline and back now. But can we ma actually make it into the city of Granorg? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiance Historia Perfect Chronology. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!